Now once you've selected all of the different color options for your tech, the next menu item that you will see is Can O, which is Can Options. Hitting enter, you're going to see either Can or Analog. If you have chosen Can, the other option that becomes available is CS, and then a 1 or a 0, and that is basically Can Safe, whether it's active or inactive, 0 being inactive and 1 being active. After the CAN options menu, the next one is update. Now, all of the settings that you've adjusted within the PIC need to be then updated to the TAC. If you press the enter button twice, the LEDs on the TAC will flash green in the pit road speed indicators, and then all of the settings that you've just changed will update to the TAC. The next menu item is store TAC data. What that does is takes all of the settings that you've just adjusted and stores them into the memory within the PIC. You can then take that to any other uh, CAN TAC and update those same settings by using the recall function into that TAC. Okay, now that we've talked about the bands, let's talk about the three different buttons on the TAC. The bottom button here is going to be a pit road speed capture button. What that will do is if you are following the pace car and uh, for some reason things don't seem to be right with the lighting and maybe the tack was not configured correctly, what you can do is you can push that button and you can get a new pit road speed capture position. Now all of that is based on the bandwidth that you've selected as well as uh, whether you've chosen to select the top of the go or the bottom of the go band as your capture position. The center button here is a dimming level. It starts out at full bright and then there are seven dimming levels and then back to full bright. Now one thing that you're going to notice is even if you do set it to dim, it does not change the brightness of the outer LEDs. And then the top button is going to be a single button peak recall. If you press the button once, it will momentarily display the current peak RPM value. If you don't push the button again, after 10 seconds it will go back to the current reading. However, if while you're showing that peak, you push the button again, it will clear the peak and then return back to normal operation. Well, that's it. Uh, we hope that this video is informative for you and it will help you to uh, get the TAC configured how you'd like to see it. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to call me, uh, Justin Devlin. My number is 815-991-2234. That's it. Thank you.